people my people welcome to the, in, in, the <clears throat> sorry interview with imbu distillery mick and mel sat down with me in their distillery and we chatted and chatted and chatted and chatted and so welcome to my nice song chat with my friends mel and mick it is long it is rambling um and if you want to play an interesting game what you do is you drop a gnt every time one of us swears and if you're awake at the end of the interview then you've done really well um because basically between friends i ad do admit i had been at the distillery for a little bit before <clears throat> mick has a absolutely huge collection of gins and we had been encouraged to not only try his gin collection that he personally has but also to sample a lot of the product at the distillery and so what could possibly go wrong um nothing as far as i'm concerned this was the most fun uh interview i've done to date and easily the best so enjoy the interview with mick and mel from imbu distillery in the northern Mel northeastern melbourne suburb of research okay um welcome to yet another uh edition of from the still and i must admit that i have imbibed this morning um i'm with mick and emma from imbue distillery and i'm first blue bar my name's mel mel <laughs> yeah okay that was deliberate actually <laughs> yes <laughs> fuck it um <laughs> so you, there's going to be a game i think that we will play where if you're watching this you have to drop a gnt for every time we swear the Hang on a minute, Odin. We, we practice responsible serving of alcohol here at Imbue Distillery, so... You may, but they're watching it at home. No, ha! <laughs> you listen to the lady. <laughs> Story of my life. Listen to the lady. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> Thank I'm, you. I'm, I'm well trained. I'm on my second marriage. It's uh, uh, Yes, dear, of course. It's... Third gin and second marriage. <laughs> yes. Third the, bottle, third glass. <laughs> the the oh, first, wow. first rule of marriage. The wife is always right. Second marriage. Do you really, second rule, do you really have to read the second rule? Yes, yes. the wife is always right. Lord knows I have bitten off lots of, oh God, in my time. So, to ask the really, really difficult questions, because I went looking and it wasn't until I literally rocked up here I actually saw the answer. Imbue. I thought it's because your wonderful booze imbues that wonderful glow of well-being well that um, good booze should bring to the people who are drinking it. And apparently I'm wrong, well, which being say, married, I'm, I'm often... You're not wrong, but imbue means to instill with a story or a passion. And that's what we try and put into our very fine booze. Uh, Award-winning booze. It it's just flies out the door. What you're not seeing is the um, semi-trailer that's parked up <laughs> and is about to um, take a couple of hundred um, tons of um, this stuff out to the needy population that clearly deserve it. So, okay, passion. Um, and we can see that Mel and Mick are very small personalities who hate what they're doing. Tiny, tiny personalities. Yes. And Mick is wearing his um, quietest shirt today. Um, I went to a coffee shop this morning and like, wow, are you going to a rave? I'm like, no, I'm just doing me. <laughs> <laughs> They're used to it though, so it's fine. So, it's only when I rocked up the other day wearing my hoodie and it was lunchtime on a 30 degree day and they're like, really? Well, it's fine. I'm going to work. <laughs> yes, you work in this? In case of where you at. Um, you don't I was to... wearing undies, by the way, just saying. Thanks for clearing that up. I'm sure everybody it's, wanted to know. That's yeah. just so many degrees less frightening. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I have a, um, a job where I actually earn money and... The girl, I knocked on the door and the woman said, oh, look, I'm sorry for being in my birthday suit. And I looked and went, that's okay, honey. My birthday suit would more likely traumatise you. <laughs> and she looked at me and she says, I work in a hospital. Trust me, it ain't going to frighten me. <laughs> went, yeah, okay. In the um, fetal position. Well, it was the first three years of, the, of, the, of life with twins. It's just in the fetal position, screaming, make it go away. Um, you know, I'm not hearing isn't, you. La, 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 that, la. Isn't that most kids? <laughs> Oh, twins are a different universe, yeah. I assure you. I can imagine. The eldest child likes to complain about his brothers and we went, don't go doing that. He goes, why not? Because if they make you look like a fucking walk in the park. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Get away from the room. Stay away from that. Child onset Tourette's. Jesus, what the fuck? Get, get the fuck out. 
all the time when you've got twins. It just never stops. People go, so you guys drink? Yes, we have twins. So why do you drink? Okay, which part of we have twins did you have trouble understanding? (laughs) How much do you drink? A lot. Okay, some days a lot, lot. And how much is a lot? We drink to the point where we can't, we, we drink to the point where we actually like our children. And people go, and how many bottles is Just that? Save this for the twenty first. <laughs> oh, well, oh, we've got all the blackmail photographs: the, the nude ones, the dropping of the f bombs, the giving the bird in front of my windows. It's hi, meet my children. <laughs> it, Whose child are you, and what are you doing beside mine? Um, that sort of stuff. No, goes, yeah. It's just complete insanity in my house, which is the reason why um, this is actually a cover for my um, alcohol dependence. Um, okay. It sounds like you're a spiritualist. Yeah, I am indeed a spiritualist. Yeah. Yes, I get into the spirits. It's, um, <laughs> it's invoke the Holy Ghost of ethyl alcohol, which um, my darling wife, who's a science teacher, will tell you is indeed a solution. So if anyone tells you alcohol is not a solution, you go, no, no, you're wrong. From a chemistry point of view, it is the solution. Uh, I like that. Well, wasn't it Newton or was M equals GNT? Yeah, I'm did. not sure. I could, could have got that wrong. But. Selena, 